The longest part of research projects is probably uh, gathering data. We need people on site here in the laboratory, uh, then we need a lot of time. My name is Jarosław Michowski. I'm a chief of uh, laboratory of affective neuroscience in Poznan. I'm leading a research team uh, and we are working on different topics in, uh, about affective neuroscience and clinical neuroscience. Shortly about how uh, brain is working and uh, people having uh, different psychological problems and how we can help these people. Uh, so we actually use a lot of different methods uh, in our research, but I would say the main uh, method is uh, experimental research. So we do experiments and we use also neuroscience. I would say our laboratory starts here. This is the room where we control uh, the experiments and we control the experiments that are going on here. This is the EEG. Uh, lab. We use uh, electroencephalography, uh, so different sensors that you put on the head of the participant and you can record the electrical uh, activity which is going uh, in, in the brain. Uh, we also can uh, control the, the room uh, where we measure different physiological signals like skin conductance response, so when your skin is sweating or you, when you are doing something emotional, for example, or uh, ECG, uh, so your heart rate when you are also doing something, uh, something emotional. There are several topics I was researching. But I think the main interesting topic is, is the topic of uh, how patients with phobia, for example, arachnophobia, like spider phobia, uh, how they behave in a context uh, where they expect to encounter a spider. Uh, uh, we did a really complicated series of research to discover whether these people are, you know, always uh, vigilant like they are always looking around to find some spiders. For example, let's, let's imagine people who are uh, going into the cellar. Yeah, they expect spiders mostly. And they already, you know, their brain is already very active when they, when they only think to go there. And we know it, we have, uh, we have you know, evidences and we have also evidences that normally in their lives they, they are not so uh, sensitive and it's a good message, actually. We are also doing uh, clinical psychology uh, projects and we now are very excited about uh, our new project that we started like a year ago. Namely, we try to develop psychotherapy chatbot who will help uh, young people, mostly young people, uh, to get rid of their uh, negative thoughts and negative feelings and to, uh, the chatbot can be also used uh, for supporting uh, therapy. This is a very interdisciplinary project. Uh, we have uh, cognitivists, uh, we have business people in our team, uh, we have uh, people who are uh, working with language. When you are working in such a team, uh, this is a very fruitful thing because uh, you have possibility to learn new, very open fields uh, and hopefully uh, we will be able to, uh, to develop such chatbot so that young people, mostly you know, teenagers, the first moment when they feel bad, when they have some, some starting psychological problems, that they have, can, can talk to, to our, uh, it is called FIDO, to our Fido uh, about their problems and, and Fido can, uh, can help them learn about they, uh, their problems and, and solve some of them. Most exciting in being a researcher is to develop ideas 
about uh, what is needed to help explain the world and uh, the human nature uh, and to develop research project actually. From research question to how could you measure it because uh, it needs a lot of creativity and a lot of you know consultations with other researchers uh, in a team you are developing different ideas you need a great openness actually that the next very very interesting uh, moment is when you first look on your results uh, because this is the moment when you really try to explain uh, what you you know sometimes wanted to investigate like for four or five years.